So hi everyone, uh, this is going to be my first YouTube video. Um, I wanted to talk about my Hebeos uh, wedding dress order. I ordered um, a veil, it was a cathedral veil, one of the really long one. I ordered some headpieces, a crown, one of these, um, and then the last part was my dress. It was a, a trumpet wedding dress. So when I was doing my research for dresses, I didn't really find any anything, any reviews like these on youtube uh with like wedding style dresses so i wanted to come on here and do this so hopefully you guys enjoy um, i'm gonna do a try on um yeah so let's get started this is how the order came in it was just a bag everything fit in there and then the the veil it was kind of just stuffed in here it's, it's, it's pretty pretty long um so the order itself was like i think it was just like three pounds three four pounds and it actually came like really quickly um i placed my order on november 25th and they started making it like within two days um and then they shipped it out like seven days after so the whole time from me placing the order to actually getting it was about like two weeks like, it was really fast um the promise date they had given me was december 9th and i ended up getting it december 5th so yeah, it was pretty fast. When they shipped it out from uh, China, I was like keeping track every single day. It just took two days for it to come to the US. And then one day to get to me actually from the Tennessee location. Um, yeah, so enough of the talking. I do wanna do a try on. Um, I'll try to put some pictures on the screen and then put links below um, as well with my measurements. Um, bust is 36 and I did it without um, wearing a bra when I measured because that's how I wanted to wear my dress. I would say maybe add like 0.5 or 1 inch if you're going to wear a different bra. Um, so just measure how you're going to be wearing the day of. My waist measurement actually is like 30 inches, 30 and a half. But for the dress, I took off, I took off an inch because I knew I was going to be wearing some kind of shapewear. And I'm, I'm doing some type of waist training as well, even though I'm not pretty consistent. But... I'm hoping that one inch, yeah. The day the the when the day comes, yeah, um, the dress will fit. But it, it ended up fitting pretty snug, pretty nice. Even now, with one inch less on the dress, and then my hips is 41 inches. Um, I just kept that the same, so I did custom because if it would have been size 10, the hip would have been 39.5, and I didn't want my butt to be squished. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, that's how the dress came in a bag. Um, the crown. I'll just do this real quick before I do the try on. It's pretty nice. Um, it, looked, it looked a lot like the pictures. Um, I was trying to do something different with the gold. Um, it might. It, I think it clashes a little with the dress, but we'll try it. And I kind of like this one more with the white. Kind of put it like this. Yeah, so the, the next two big things are the veil and the dress. So let me uh, try it on for you guys. Um, I'll put pictures uh, and link of what she looked, the model looked online and then what it looks on me. So this is a dress. I wanted to give you a close up. This one, um, they had a model that was wearing the exact one. I know that other dresses, they use replicas or they use like the main one and then they make the replica. But this one was like, they use the actual one. So I did the show as color um, on the website. It has the champagne underlining with ivory, ivory lacing on the top. So I didn't want to do fully white because all of the reviews I was seeing, they were saying, oh, ivory. Like if you do all ivory, it's pretty much white. And I don't want to do white. Yeah. Okay, so this is the top of the dress. I am wearing like sticky little pads, not a full bra because you can see um it's a little bit of see-through you can see a little bit of cleavage that's what i wanted so definitely need some push-up but like i mentioned my actual measurement is like 36 and a half and i gave them 36 since it was custom because i wanted it to be more snug and since there's like no bra bra underneath that comes with the dress i wanted it to be secure especially since i breastfed and they're pretty zaggy you know um, so there's a detail. The only thing um, 
like first impressions it looks really nice um especially for being under 200 but just to keep in mind like if you have sensitive skin this is a little bit itchy so something i'll have to get used to um since it's just lace and then the back of this top is just lace yeah um but yeah the cut is all the way down here let me get up okay so this is the dress itself And the trains, um, I would say it's a medium train, like a chapel train. So I'll walk a little bit. Yeah, so first impressions when I first opened the dress, like, really nice quality there's no sequence it's just the lace on top um the fit was pretty nice um it goes like right here like the ending of it it's pretty snug um so it's a good fit so there's this lace overlay the detail then there's like another another layer of tool and then it's the champagne underlay and then that's it so the only things i would say um is like the stomach area i don't know if you guys can tell but it kind of bunches up a little right here so i wouldn't mind getting it tailored maybe see if they can take off this extra fabric like this much so it can be smooth Cause like if I just keep it like this, okay, it's fine. But it's when I start walking and everything, it's just like right here. So that would be the only change. Then like I mentioned, the the shoulder area would be something that I have to get used to. Cause it's like I said, it's kind of itchy. And if I'm like doing arm movement like this, it kind of cuts into my arm a little bit, but it's not like a deal breaker. But I mean, if that's something you're looking for, like more comfortable, then you can also change the, to make them just straps. If you want to do a custom, you can just tell them, oh, I just want straps, not the lace. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much it. Um, I'll show you guys the, uh, the veil. So this is the veil. It's a cathedral uh, style. So I believe it's 350 centimeters. Uh, I think that's like 10 feet. Um, you guys can look it up. But it looked pretty similar to the to the picture. This one does have like some type of sequins. It gives it like some type of shine, but it's not like too much. So it's all throughout. Yeah, so I'll try to put it on um, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Here it is. So this one's in ivory, so it's, it'll match like this kind of lace. It's white. The pattern's a little bit different, but I'm sure it's pretty similar. It's just the little, like the sequins. Thank you very much, Jimmy. Mainly it's gonna be for like the church ceremony pictures because it's way too big. I wanted something more dramatic for the for the veil since the dress is 
it's more budget friendly. I want to give it that high end look, you know. Yeah, so hopefully you guys get the idea. It's really big, so that's what it looks like. And this is only like $55, which is really good. Picture. Yeah, so this is what it looks like from the back. And I did like an up just similar to what I would do on the day. You know, my hair is kind of greasy. Um, but I'm still thinking of this one, even though it looks kind of gold. I don't know if it's too much gold. Because I'll be wearing this gold one, this gold necklace. I don't know if that would be too much or just put this one. If it's a little stuck or this one. Something like this. I feel like it looks nicer with the like the ivory. I would need something to hold it. Yeah, so that was pretty much my order um, for the, the crown, the this little headpiece. The dress itself was $195 with the customization and with my own uh, sizing. Um, the veil was $55, so I also got two-piece garter set um, so I could have everything complete. And I was just going to use shoes that I already own. So overall, I only spent like $300 with the bag itself for the dress. That was like another twelve dollars. Um, my overall total ended up being like three hundred and fourteen. So, like I have everything for three hundred and fourteen. And like I was mentioning, like the stomach area, like there could be there's some a little bit of extra fat. I could just get that altered. Probably like a hundred dollars. I wouldn't mind spending, since the dress was so Mommy, affordable. Open. Open. My daughter. Mommy, so these were the, the garments. It's two back. Yeah. Yeah. So let me know if you guys have any questions. I'll put the links below my measurements. My daughter wants to join. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, and I just wanted to add some final things that I forgot. Um, when you're looking at the website, um, the pictures that they use, most of them are just uh, like the actual designer dresses. Do not be based on, like, do not base. That how the actual dress will look on that because it won't it will not look like it trust me um for this one it did because they used um they're starting to get their own models trying their own dresses but majority of them no so always on the reviews you can look at the reviews but you know obviously they're gonna put only five star reviews um but if you go next to the reviews on the tab where it says questions most of them have the actual workshop dresses of what the actual dress looks like that they're making so you can see compare so always look at the workshop photos um they have an email service at hebios i think um i can list it down below as well i before i got this dress i like inquired about like five other dresses to show me the pictures um and they did and they would always respond like within like five hours but it was always at night because it's china hours i believe it's like 12 12 hours ahead over there so always they would always get back to me and then this was the final dress that i decided because I wanted like that champagne underlay. This was kind of the only one that I could see actual pictures. All the other ones were ivory, which was not what I was looking for. Um, but definitely, um, customer service was was there for me. They were very prompt, they responded. Um, and then 
I did let them know, can you send me a picture of my address when it was going to be shipped? Like before it was shipped, send me a picture on the mannequin and they did like within five days and then it got to me within five days. Um, so overall, two weeks, it was pretty good. Um, but overall, I would recommend uh, just do your research. Um, try to see a lot of pictures of the workshop pictures of many dresses so you don't, don't go by the first one. And then I would recommend doing custom sizing. You want it to be a little more snug or if you plan on wearing shapewear, I would say to take like a, an inch away from your waist especially. You want it to be more snug. You can take off like half an inch. Um, but if not, you can go by your actual sizing. I just didn't want to do much alterations. Uh, but it's pretty accurate. Everything's pretty accurate. It was pretty good. Um, the material, um, it, team, it's, it could seem a little scratchy to some people, but it looks it looks high end like in the pictures it's only going to be for one day so it did exceed my expectations especially for a 200 dollars dress uh like i said the only thing is this part it kind of cuts into me when i do all of this but like i said you guys can see a different style one that only has straps but yeah overall i like my order everything turned out great and i hope this helps you guys future brides um especially if looking for a mermaid style dress so thank you guys so much for watching peace